Smell our trucking, my Liz. Matt's in the back today. And uh, I don't know why this guy's going so slow, but we are pulling up to our next pickup, which is going to be a, hopefully it's a drop hook, hopefully it's ready. But it is a beautiful day in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we're just going to be doing a short hop over basically to St. Louis kind of stack up more revenue for the weekend but we're gonna get to this place about two miles and see if our our load's ready yet so progress there's a uh, phone booth over here by this gate so i walked over here from where we parked the truck because i wasn't really sure where we were supposed to go and it looked like we were gonna get jammed up so, lots of instructions on this gate, but I called and security answered the phone and said, hey, I don't see you out there. It's like, well, I saw the sign that said to drop the trailer outside the gate. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 drop your trailer out there and then come in here and meet me at door six. So, there are a few Landstar trailers in here, either in the door or sitting outside, I'm assuming, I'm assuming already loaded and sealed and all that so we'll see I'm also assuming since it's the weekend that it has to have been loaded already yeah it looks like all the Landstar door, uh, trailers outside the doors so we'll see which one of these we get but they look fairly all right meet me by door six down there so I say that one always, only goes to door seven so we'll see six nine eight the other one had four new placard, or placard holders as well, so we'll see you. Uh, see, but I have high hopes. He at least answered. That's a good start. And I gave him the pickup number. He said, oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. Like, all right, that's good. Got the paperwork, and looks like it's this trailer down here. Also, it looks like it's pre-sealed since there's a seal number and he didn't give us a seal. We'll see about that. But this was, surprisingly, easy peasy. You just never know, like, weekend pickups, even if it's at a place like this that preloads trailers, it's just always kind of sketchy. <laughs> kind of sketchy, because even, even if they say that, you know, you can pick it up 24-7, you just never know. And then if you have any issues, there's nobody to call or ask for help. Not but, to mention it was DUV and we did that Georgia uh, Pacific load that was like right. a day and a half late on preloading. What? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that was, I forgot that was DUV. So the Schneider trailer kind of parked a little bit in the way. So we had to do some creative, creative backing to get lined up with this thing. But I do like when a good drop and hook load is as easy as it should be. And it pays four dollars a mile. And it pays four dollars a mile. Well, just I mean it doesn't go very far, but twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean good good enough. Alright, I'm a little over to the right. Actually I think this one paid sixteen hundred. Yeah, well I figured it must have paid really well per mile if we're only on like 400 miles but easy for the weekend and since it's really only one day to run it works out good just glad we're gonna be able to get out of here at a reasonable hour we are out of here to get everything straight with the pickup but we were good we tried to call the agent since they said to call but I don't think that applies to <laughs> weekend loads because we work on the weekend but they don't they don't whatever so 
shot the agent an email, let her know that we picked up. Now we're gonna get on down the road. Probably stop in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Get the fuel, get a shower. Not super confident on the, well, confident on the routing, but I don't remember all the, the names of all the interstates. All right, we are rolling up to our delivery. It's this one? Just a tiny bit. The number on the building didn't match up. But. All right. So we are here. We are early, like usual. Uh, I guess we can flip around and figure out where to go. Assuming we are in the right place, uh, I was backing up and a uh, guy came out and took our paperwork and said, yeah, just keep, because I was just kind of like close to the dock and we were going to go check in and make sure this is where we needed to be. And he's like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and open the doors back up. I was like, okay, cool. So he took the paperwork, didn't say anything else. So um, I don't know, they have a light system, so. That guy over there is locked in. I guess they're unloading him. I hear one. Yeah, it must be his truck, but. I'd assume they'd probably bring the paperwork out. Yeah, probably. I guess we'll see when that guy gets done on unloading. Uh, so we booked, not the next one. We have the next load already set up, but the following one after that, uh, we were waiting for something good to show up and it finally did. So next one, next load, we're taking equipment to a chicken farm in Jersey of all places so that'll be interesting but uh, so after we drop this one off we're gonna deadhead up to I think it's in Ohio yeah so we gotta gotta go across uh, in Indiana it's a little bit of a deadhead but it was a good rate and it's light super light I think it's under 8,000 pounds so It'll be good, aside from being in Jersey, <laughs> but you know, what are you going to do? Well, it looks like we are up to get unloaded. We're red, red lit, and they're uh, going in and out of the trailer. The guy to our right that was here when we got here, uh, he's just pulling out. They gave him his paperwork. Got a day cab guy pulling in. Yeah, seems pretty quick. They didn't really care that we were here <laughs> like an hour and a half before our appointment time. But uh, yeah, hopefully we get out of here. I think uh, we're just going to wait until tomorrow to get the loaded trailer because I don't, I can't recall our conversation well enough. I'm pretty sure the lady asked if we wanted to pick it up Monday or Tuesday and I told her Tuesday, but I don't remember it well enough to go over there and there's not a whole lot of truck stops in that area. So we kind of have to know ahead of time. So I think we'll just wait until tomorrow. Well, one hour from the time that we rolled in. We're still uh, 30 minutes before our appointment time. I'll take that win. And by the time we get back to St. Louis, we should be um, past the rush hour as well. So that's a positive. We got over to our next pickup. Uh, we're picking up poultry machinery uh, from the plant that makes them. Uh, we're taking it over to, surprise, a poultry farm in Jersey. Um, which, honestly, I had no idea that there were any farms in Jersey and that there would be a uh, poultry farm that we would it is yeah it is an egg farm specifically so not not raising the chickens to slaughter them raising the chicken for their golden eggs uh so we got over here 
and so across the street is the actual building that they are assembling this up and it was a drop trailer it's preloaded from my conversation i think i remember her saying that it was going to be ready yesterday but we weren't 100 percent sure and it's kind of out there in the sticks and there is nothing close by so we didn't want to get out here and it not be ready and have to go all the way back so we waited until this morning came over here uh they said that the paperwork is going to be on the crank handle so i saw a landstar trailer as we were rolling up so had to be ours so here we are uh, about to drop this trailer go hook up to that one make sure it's good and then uh we're gonna roll all right let's get this trailer hooked up gotta climb under there and make sure the uh, kingpin is securely locked let's see yep this is uh, wait nope some of these are backwards uh, why is it so heavy oh no yeah this is the back of one Let's climb under here. All right, yep, fifth wheel lock. Get these air hoses on. Oh no, we got a hole in this glove. Oh, those are done for. Check these tires out. I'm gonna do it a quick, quick walk around. I gotta turn the lights on. Check those too. Uh, I gotta put some air in the trailer and then do a full pre-trip. But I just want to double check that there's nothing glaringly obvious right away, so we don't waste time doing a full pre-trip. All right. We're gonna get that uh, going, and uh, we'll pick up in a bit. I did a pre-trip on this trailer. I am a uh, icicle frozen. It's, it uh, the temperature dropped pretty quick. Yesterday we got to the rest area and it was like too warm to wear a hoodie out. And then this morning it's uh, it is too cold to be out there without a heavy jacket. Now we gotta get out of this little town. Turn left on West Sycamore no, Street, then turn oh, left. Yeah, it looks like people have. Uh, nothing like driving through the small towns. This is uh, Ohio for you. I need you to stop short. Thank you. In three miles, turn left on US 127. Man, nothing like driving through neighborhoods with your big truck. Uh, why is Ohio like this? Well, I think my drive shift is about over. Loves, gonna get a shower, switch drivers, and then uh, Liz is gonna get us pretty close to the place. Then we'll wake up tomorrow and uh, run it in. Words, yes, yes, words. Well, I'm <laughs> well, okay, all right. I'm done driving for the day. All of our voice activated things in this truck beeping when I talk. Um, we are in, is it, I just forget the name of this one. Is it Bloomsburg? Yeah. TA, Pennsylvania. 
off of 80, about 160 miles left uh, to do in the morning. So we're gonna get up early because we figure um, this is just a construction site that they're gonna get there about seven. So it doesn't matter if we get there a little early, we can just sit there and wait for them. Not a big deal. We found some Hot Wheels here. I don't know. There's nothing else, right? No. Anything else? That no. should be good. Okay. It's about time to get this show on the road. Did a pre-trip. Uh, this truck stuff is a tiny bit kind of like jammed in here. It's so weird. So the road across from us is parking. Uh, just set up straight line just like ours but behind them everyone is angled parked so it kind of puts this row out too far let's see if we can squeeze by there without hitting anything um, yeah it just kind of puts you out a little bit too far into the aisle if you park straight some people are parking Kind of at an angle which took up obviously more spots because you weren't in a straight line so it was weird we were on the other side but I, we just didn't really care for sitting out so far so we flipped around parked next to that uh hurricane uh the truck what's this guy doing and stuff. It's not even in the truck. That's fantastic. Let's get out of this place. I just got a. Uh, just talked to the guy. I don't exactly know. So the guy didn't speak English, so we were kind of. Yeah. You want me to back in there?
kind of cool place. Like I said, farm out in Jersey. Who who knew? So there's that. Uh, it appears like they are putting a uh, pallet jack up in the trailer with uh, the big boom lift. So shouldn't be too long. But we're nearing hour two. Uh, they're still unloading. Whoever loaded this trailer, I don't even know what to say about it. Uh, so there's a few like half stack pallets, but they're kind of in a triangle shape. So they're not like a flat pallet. And then they stack a full pallet on top of that. So of course they're all like falling and leaning. So these guys have to like get it out of the truck without knocking everything over. Then somebody has to like hold the stuff up and then they have to like move the forks to like pick up the top ones and stuff. It, it's just such a mess. So it's not even their fault that they have to like fix this nonsense just to be able to unload it. But uh, we did figure out that we are, excuse me, we're carrying these um, silos, I guess they would be uh silos of some sort and it's all the pieces i guess they're going going to assemble it uh, and build more of these chicken condos six floors in two sections in each of these buildings there's two buildings here and then there's more down that way so, cool place i guess um Yeah, they have to be have to be getting close to the end it looks like uh, well it sounds like the stuff is blocked and braced towards the back because I can hear them like hammering nails and stuff out but should be done soon and then uh, gotta take a little trip to uh, to the next pickup also, we still have the uh, sale going on on our merchandise on the website. So the shirts are 20% off, come out to be 20 bucks shipped. Uh, we have the, the one design. We're working on another one. Not sure when that's going to be out, but right now the website does reflect the discount. I'm not sure how long we're going to continue to run it. it. It was a winter sale and we're nearing the end of winter. So uh, get them while you can. Uh, you can order them on nolucktrucking.com or more specifically shop.nolucktrucking.com and uh, we'll get them out to you as soon as we can. Well, I asked the gentleman that signed the paperwork for me um, which way to go out of here or how to get out of here. Uh, I motioned around the silo to our left or back the way I came and he smiled and nodded. So what we're going to do is go out the way that I want to go, which uh, we're going to make this left over here. We're going to go by the silo and we're going to straight line back by this equipment. And then we are going to make a U-turn and go back the way that we came. Because that's the safest bet. I don't know the height restrictions of any of this place over here. Oh yeah, that's definitely not tall enough. So. All right, we are definitely on our own. There's some construction equipment back here, but I think we're gonna avoid all that. Got to not hit anything. Yeah. And we got to make sure we're not going any under anything that's too short. Last time we were at a sketchy job site, we ended up breaking the air tank or the fitting on the air tank and crushing them. So <laughs> I have gotten to the point where I'm just going out the way that I feel comfortable after I have scouted it. So. Alright, we are out of here. Two hours on load, not the best, not the worst. I'm just glad it wasn't like a muddy, uh, 
mess to get in and out of here. Because it would take a lot longer if we get stuck to get out. I'm not sure how tall these little fill uh, nozzles, whatever, I guess. Maybe they dump into a uh, a dump trailer or something from, I guess that's a silo, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I don't know how tall they are, so I don't want to go under them. Three quarters of a mile, turn right on Woodstown Road. Alright, we're out of here. <laughs> we didn't hit anything, we didn't get stuck. They uh, motioned that we were good to go, and I'm like, yeah, um, I need... Need paperwork, please. But apparently, they had the paperwork but didn't have a pen. Like, All right. Well, I have a pen. Right. Go wide. And there we are. That's pretty cool. A farm in Jersey. We're gonna get down the road, get over to a truck stop, uh, eat some breakfast, maybe do some laundry, and then we need to get closer to our next pickup. So we will probably pick up there. Uh, I guess that guy is probably going to the farm too for more equipment. We just got the laundry put in. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna finish all of our laundry and then get on the road. Uh, shouldn't be too much longer. We'll probably be rolling into the place, uh, I don't know, probably, uh, not an hour and a half, two hours, whatever, but just realize that our next pickup is the place that we've been, and it tries to take you through this neighborhood, and we got pretty jammed up last time, because even the truck GPSs and all the routing wants you to go over this little bridge that has a weight limit and then you have to like wind through this like neighborhood road to get out of there so this time i remembered the way that we ended up coming in and the way that we uh, ended up leaving so we're going to make sure that we do not fall for the same trap and uh we arrived but last time it was a preloaded trailer and they loaded it too heavy this time it's a live load so hoping for better results but we'll see thank you guys for watching we will catch you on the next one